Hey everybody, welcome back to LI Geek Guys weekly video. I'm very excited about today's video. I'm going to do kind of a beginner's guide to what each part of the computer does. So I'm going to take my lab computer apart on video and go into detail about each of the components. So let's jump right in. Alright everybody, here we are. This is my lab computer. It's an Asus. Um, I'm not sure what the uh, the exact model number is, but it's, uh, it's an older computer. Um, I already took the side panel off. So the first thing I want to go through is uh, the video card. So this is the video card right here. Um, you can see it's connected to power, so I'm just going to unplug the power. Put that aside. And then it's got two screws kind of holding it in. One right here and one right here. So we're just going to unscrew them. That's one. And the second. That's two. Alright, and so also um, this is a PCI Express video card. Um, you can kind of see right over here there's kind of a, like a, a little clip holding it in. Um, so all I'm going to do is push down on the clip, let me put my screwdriver down, push it down, and then pull up on the card, and it comes right out. Um, so this is an Asus uh, GTX 650, I believe. Um, this is obviously an older video card. Um, so basically what the video card does uh, is it processes any, any graphics or, or, you know, anything... Um, going to the monitor more or less. Uh, not all computers have video cards. Um, some have what's called onboard graphics, which um, the processor uh, handles the, the, the video for the computer, but I'll get uh, into that a little bit later. But this is, this is the video card. Um, you can see it's got HDMI, DVI, and VGA uh, outputs. Um, so basically you hook the monitor up to one of these plugs and you get video. Um, this is important for um, anybody that plays games on their computer or does video editing or um, any special effects, stuff like that. Um, a lot of the Adobe programs, um, you could benefit from having you know, a, a, a good video card. Uh, next we have, so I'm going to go through what RAM is. Um, where is mine? Okay. So these uh, each have a little kind of latch if you can see it there's one here one here the white things if you just push it down it ejects the ram and then you can pull it out um, so I'll pull both of these sticks out and this is what it looks like this is um, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and I'll get into what RAM does um, so it's important to kind of know the difference between hard drives and RAM, or solid state drives and RAM. Um, let me pull the, the solid state drive in this computer out so I can show you. But basically the, the solid state drive or hard drive is the storage of the computer. So that's where um, all your files are kind of stored. Um, your operating system is, is on the solid state or hard drive. Um, your documents, your programs. They all live on here. So this is a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Um, and basically what happens is when you use a program or open a, a file or document, it stores it in the RAM while you're using it. Um, so the best way to kind of picture it is to picture a desk with a filing cabinet. Um, and you could say that the filing cabinet is your um, storage, your hard drive, or your solid state drive. Um, whereas the RAM would be the desk itself. So let's say you have um, like a TV stand, like a TV dinner stand. We'll say that's four gigabytes of RAM. Um, you go into your filing cabinet and you pull out files to look at. Um, and these can be uh, programs or just, just files on your computer. Um, so say you want to open up a web page, a Word file, and a PDF viewer. So you're pulling all of these files out of the hard drive or the solid state drive, out of the filing cabinet, and you're putting them on the desk. So if you have a TV stand, it's, it's pretty small. 
you can only fit so much on it um, and then after that it's gonna kind of start slowing down um, if you have a bigger bigger space a bigger desk say if we had 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes then you could fit a lot more stuff on the desk um, and it'll be just snappier and faster um, but once you start filling that desk up things are gonna slow down and it's the same with RAM if you have four gigabytes of RAM once you start opening programs and, and, and files it's gonna slow down um, so the RAM is is basically just what you're kinda working on it it's it's you know if you have a web browser open it's stored on the RAM RAM is much much faster than than a hard drive or a solid-state drive um, so now let's move on to the CPU or the processor so let me um, pull this this uh, this is a, a fan and heatsink um, right here the CPU is directly underneath it so I'm gonna try to pull it off so I can show you guys what the processor looks like so I'm just gonna unhinge these little feet hopefully the right way uh, oops sorry uh, pull this up pull that up that one doesn't want to pull up so these uh, fans are kind of finicky and hard to take out sometimes these two legs don't want to pop up, but I'll figure it out. There we go. And then this last one. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of pull it out. There we go. And this fan is also connected to the power. And so this is what keeps the, the processor cool. The processors always run very, very hot. So basically this is a, um, a heat sink right here, a bunch of fins. Um, the, the heat from the processor is transferred to all these fins and then the fan spins and kind of pulls it out and, uh, and pushes it into the atmosphere. Um, so you can also see this case has a fan here um, and also room for a fan in the front. Um, you know, if I wanted to, I could put a fan in the front and have it pull pull um, cool air in the front, um, go over the, the, the PC's uh, components, and, and exhaust out the back. Um, so that's the fan. Now let me pull out the CPU. So the CPU is this piece right here. Um, it's got a bunch of thermal paste on it, which is why you see that white stuff. Um, we're going to push this little arm down and pull it out and then pop it open and the CPU will come right out. There we go. I'm gonna have to clean this thermal paste off and put it back in later, but um, the CPU is basically like the brain of the computer. Um, this is what does all the processing. Um, so you might hear people say they have uh, an i5 or an i3. Um, this is an i7, it's a fourth generation. Uh, so they're up to 10th generation right now, so we'll say it's about six generations old um, Which is kind of old but for what I what I do with it. It's not a it's not a big deal um, You know, this is just just kind of my lab computer. I'm gonna put this back in this is a socket right here This is where the CPU goes you can see there's a ton of uh, I don't know if, if it'll autofocus or not, but there's a ton of little pins on it Um very very cool so let me throw this back in uh, make sure I have it in the right way which I do and then we're gonna close it and then push it down and slide that under so the uh, the last thing is is really just the power supply and the motherboard so this is the power supply here um, let me go ahead and take it out so you guys can see actually before I get that last screw I'm gonna unplug it 
Um, so the, it goes directly into the motherboard. So we got one plug here and then one plug here. So it is unplugged. And let me get this last screw here. And this should pull right out. So this is the power supply, basically. Um, you plug this end into the wall or, in, or you know, probably better off plugging it into a surge protector. Um, this is connected directly to the motherboard and it supplies power. Um, and which leads us to the motherboard. So this is this big kind of um, circuit board on the bottom here. This is, uh, I like to say it's like the skeleton of the computer, you know, kind of holds everything in place. It holds everything together. Um, it's where the, the, you know, the RAM, the processor, the video card, um, everything kind of goes through the motherboard. Um, this one also has Wi-Fi. If you see right down here, this is a Wi-Fi um, card. Uh, so that enables the computer to use uh, Wi-Fi without having to get like a USB, um, you know, Wi-Fi adapter. You know, motherboards also have you know the USB connectors if you can kind of see right here um, we got two USBs two here it's got your Ethernet port for network connectivity I'm um, sorry autofocus and also so if you are using um, onboard video if you don't have a video card the motherboards where you plug your um, monitors and stuff in so this has an HDMI DVI and VGA port um, and I mean that's pretty much it um, the only thing I could really think about is, is you know, like the hard drives. They're, the hard drives are solid state drives are connected via a SATA cable, which is one of these. Um, and that goes into the motherboard. Your front panel USB and, and audio outputs, they also go into the, into the motherboard. Um, you can see there's a plug right here. Um, and yeah, the power button from the case is plugged into the motherboard. Everything pretty much is is going through the motherboard um and i think that's about it you know those those are all the uh the basic components of a computer um i hope you guys learned something i'm gonna i'm gonna start putting this thing back together and uh if you have any questions or comments just shoot me an email at zach at ligeekguy.com and um thanks so much for joining us